What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while that I've recorded my intro like this and it feels really good to do it again to see you guys in person let's say and I really hope that you're gonna like it as well. And today as you can tell by the title of today's video we're gonna be comparing the relatively new Ohuhu brush markers to the Copics. You guys know that I love a good cheap brush marker so I'm super excited to see if these are gonna live up to my expectations and also make sure you stay with me until the end of today's video because I have a very exciting giveaway for you guys. Alright so now without any further ado let's just get into today's video. So first off let's take a closer look at the markers. I got the pack of 48 colors which retails for $35 meaning that one marker is less than a dollar. As all the other Ohuhu markers, these also come in this box made of cloth. And inside the box, besides the actual markers, there's also this silicone pad included that you can put underneath your drawing so it prevents any bleed through. Now let me just take out some random markers so we can take a closer look at it. And since I have two other versions of Ohuhu markers, the first dual-ended ones and the upgraded version of them, I really want to compare them to the brush marker. You can tell that the barrel looks pretty similar on all of them, but the difference is mainly in the shape of it and also between the indications on the caps. It's actually pretty interesting to see how they evolved from their first marker to those brush markers. Anyway, when it comes to the brush markers we'll be testing today, they're obviously dual-ended with a chisel tip on one side and the brush tip on the other side. The color indications are pretty clear with the letters standing for the color family, like in the Copics, and the numbers standing for probably the saturation or tone of each shade. Now let's move on to my favorite part, which is swatching all the shades. The color range of each marker set is actually very important for me, so I'm excited to see what kind of colors we're getting in the 48 pack. On one hand, 48 colors is really not that many, but on the other hand, 48 colors should be enough to get a good variety of each tone and each shade. And as usual with those cheaper markers, I'm a little bit worried if there's going to be any skin tone shades, especially the light ones. And at this point, as you can see, one marker turned out to be completely dry, so that's a shame, but on the other hand, it was this kind of greenish, yellowish shade, so I'm not even mad about it because I almost never use green and I bet that I wouldn't use this one in today's drawing. Alright, so this is my swatch card done and right off the bat I can say that the color variety is pretty decent to be only 48 shades. If I needed to complain about something, it will definitely be the light skin tone shades. I really wish they included one or two more pastel shades and less saturated tones for light complexion. As for the rest, for my personal taste, I think there's just too many green shades, but you guys know that I rarely use green, so that's just my personal preference. Nevertheless, I quite enjoy this color selection and I'm ready to test it out on my drawing. So now we're finally going to put those markers to the test. The left side of my drawing is gonna be the Ohuhu side and the right side will be for Copics or other more expensive markers. I'm starting off with the skin color. From Ohuhu markers I picked the two lightest and the most peachy tones, which actually look quite alright on the paper because I was a little bit scared they're gonna be too orangey. Right off the bat I can tell that the brush nib feels really good to work with and it allows you to blend the markers effortlessly. It didn't take me a long time to color in her skin and shade it in, so that's a huge plus. Moving on to the Copics. Here the blending is impeccable, like always. It's just a little bit more smooth and easy to do than with Ohuhu markers. However, the difference is really, really slight. Now I'm going to color in the details on her face and here we're not going to get a lot of information from it since those elements are quite tiny and there's not much coloring and blending to do in this part. Moving on to the hair. I decided to go for black since black is the most challenging color to blend in with any other shade. It's the most saturated, opaque and deep shade of any shade that is existing, so that's why it's quite tricky and hard to lift this shade up once it's put on the paper and try to blend it together with other colors. Anyway, for black hair I'm always using dark grey mixed with the actual black so the hairstyle is not flat and it gets a little bit of texture and structure. 
After I put those two colors onto each other, now it's time to blend them. I'm going over everything with dark grey again to add more depth to the hairstyle and try to blend the black bits. And honestly, for as hard as it is to blend any dark colors, I really like the effect that Ohuhu markers did on this side. Now for the expensive side, I'll be using brush markers from Winsor & Newton since I don't have any Copics that will fit those exact colors. Here the tint of the shade was a little bit different because it was leaning more towards the warm side as opposed to the Ohuhu ones that are more on the neutral side, but I think it still looks quite okay. When it comes to the working comfort, I didn't notice any differences and I would even risk saying that both sides when it comes to the hairstyle look very very similar. Moving on to her hoodie, I picked a very pretty purple shade from Ohuhu Markers and I'm just gonna color in the whole hoodie with it. For the Copic side, unfortunately, I didn't find a perfect color match, so it will be the only part of this drawing that will stand out this much. Anyway, I'm adding the shading to the hoodie on both of the sides and here also I can't really tell the difference. Both sides look as good. And now let me just refine the drawing a little bit and add a little bit of outline and I'll be right back. So this is how the drawing looks colored only with markers. Ohuhu markers on the left and Copics on the right. Honestly, apart from the slight color differences, I can't really tell much of an actual difference in the quality of blending between each side. Both sides look even and streakless. So well, so far so good. Now let me just finish up the drawing with some colored pencils and I'll be right back to you with my final thoughts. On the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. Oh, no, please don't make that call. We don't want no cause, they ain't ready for the cause. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try to catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. Ooh, oh, driving by the shore, looking for some more. And my Rari going raw. Want you to work. I heard about your resume, skirt. Open up the sesame Work yeah. Oh no no don't pressure me don't pressure Yeah now. ooh yeah Roll out with the referee yeah. Curb yeah. yeah yeah I'm turning left now left. Burn yeah. yeah the rubber's on my chest yeah. now my chest. First, first yeah. No you're not the first one They done told me I'm the worst one Yeah, yeah. Always the pedal to the floor Yeah I'm R and center And I don't know what's in my trunk I'm always front and center Try to Rory down the coast Yeah Rockin' my new rope, yeah Always on the road and I don't need no sweater Ooh, baby, on the track I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom Oh no, nah. please don't make that call We don't want no cause, they ain't ready for the cause so well, what do I think about these Ohuhu brush markers? Well, first of all, I need to say that I really enjoyed working with them. The brush tip feels really good, it glides on the paper really well, it doesn't leave any strokes, and those markers makes the blending process really effortless and pleasant. When it comes to their price point and the quality you get for the money, I think it's insane. They are super inexpensive to be such good brush markers, so if you're looking to get some brush markers, maybe for Christmas, or just as a new art supply to try out, then I would give them a go, they are really great. And well, how do they compare to Copics? Because that was the point of today's video. I would say that they are pretty similar, however, you need to remember that Copics are just the best markers out there, and so far I haven't tried any markers that would be as good as Copics. Nevertheless, I think that those Ohuhu brush markers are really close to Copics. I really enjoyed working with them, the color scheme was really good to be only 48 colors, and well, in general, I'm really happy with the whole experience of using those brush markers. So just to sum it up, I'm super happy with those markers, I'm definitely gonna be using them in the future, and to those of you that are wondering if you should try them out, I would say yes. And now for the best part, the giveaway. 
I have this pack of 48 brand new Ohuhu dual tip markers with chisel tip and the point tip. Since I love the Ohuhu markers myself, I think you're gonna get such a good use out of these. And what you need to do to enter this giveaway is basically you need to comment something down below under this video. It can be basically anything. For example, how did you like my video? Did you ever use Ohuhu markers? Or maybe what's your favorite alcohol-based marker brand? And when you're writing your comment, make sure you also add your Instagram name into the comment so I can reach out to you once I pick the winner. And also to enter this giveaway, you need to subscribe to my channel on YouTube here and also follow me on Instagram. And well, that's basically all. I'm gonna be picking one winner randomly and I'm gonna announce the winners next Saturday here under my next YouTube video. So stay tuned for that. So well, good luck to all of you guys. I'm gonna be wrapping up this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed my today's video. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my upcoming video. Take care. Bye. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in. But this is just for us now.